Well, this time last night, we brought you the exclusive interview with Dr. Rick Sacra, the first person with Ebola treated at Omaha's Nebraska Medicine. Now, another story, only on 7. An exclusive trip inside the biocontainment unit with a team providing vital information to the unit's doctors. KATV News Watch 7's Jeremy Master is live. Jeremy? Robin Brandy, the team was kind enough to suit me up to really experience what it is like in all that protective equipment. I also met another team at Nebraska Medicine making a real difference in how the unit staff treats Ebola patients. Call it multiple layers of protection. We're suiting up with Nebraska Medicine's biocontainment unit team following a strict checklist, the same one used before treating patients with Ebola. All right, now hold it to your face. Multiple layers of gloves at all times in the unit, some changed with each trip into a room. Plus boots, gowns, mask, and a shield at least. We try to anticipate the most need that we would have when we go in there. Doctors and nurses always team up to put on and take off protective equipment, ensuring no detail is overlooked. Morgan Schrader takes extra care with Chris Dahl, a radiology tech at Nebraska Medicine. Absolutely. And we just tell them, please just listen to what we're saying and we'll walk you through step by step and keep you safe. Dahl takes x rays of everyday patients. But doctors and nurses in the unit realized slides could really help their patients. If we see fluid, if we need to really encourage the deep breathing and the coughing, if we need to get them up moving on the bike. Multiple times with those battling Ebola, radiology techs suited up to take this portable machine into the unit, directing unit staff on setting everything in place. And we went equal distance on both sides of the chest and about an inch and a half above the shoulders. It is kind of exciting, I think, just because we're having the opportunity to teach people to help save the patients from a disease that's supposedly fatal. For techs taking x-rays, great. The entire process can last 90 minutes, suiting up, setting the machine, thoroughly cleaning it, and showering out. And one of the nurses suited me up. I've been in this for about 20 minutes, getting winded, just talking. Imagine doing the real work. Every person has a real impact on patient care in such a critical situation. With everybody that comes together out of, our, out of the hospital, from EVS to everybody that comes and supports us, we wouldn't be able to do our job without them, so we are very grateful. Giving patients battling Ebola their best chance at survival and recording research for future teams fighting the outbreak. And that portable machine is thoroughly protected when it's in the unit and disinfected after each use. The team still as ready as ever. We know one person being monitored right now in the metro who is working in healthcare overseas, though at this point that individual has not shown any signs of contracting the Ebola virus. Robin Brandy, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy.